right guys now the next topic is about the veins of the upper arm and then we have the lymphatic drainage of the upper arm the veins of the upper arm they are divided into two categories the ones that are superficially just beneath the skin are known as the superficial veins and the ones that are deeply placed between uh, beneath the muscle those are called as the deep deep veins not so much discussed here so that's why i'm not going to discuss so much on the deep vein here basically what we're going to discuss more is the superficial veins that lie in the superficial fascia comprising of two types one is the cephalic vein this one shown with the blue color and one is the basalic vein shown with this blue color line. Uh, the cephalic vein it is present in your superficial fascia and it is present on the lateral side of the arm and so the vein that is draining from the lateral side of the arm that is known as the cephalic vein this vein will move up 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 and on reaching on the axilla it will drain into the infraclavicular group of nodes where then there will be drainage and these are the lymph nodes that are present which are going to drain the and those lymph nodes that are going to drain the lymph from the lateral side of the arm by means of the cephalic vein are called as your infraclavicular group of nodes now coming to the medial side on the medial side the vein a superficial vein that is present is called as the basalic vein this basalic vein it will be draining the lymph from the medial side of the arm it will reach up and up and on reaching into the axilla it will drain into the lateral group of the axillary nodes and lymph nodes which are going to drain them they are called as the lateral group of the axillary nodes and that was all for the lymphatic drainage as well as the veins of the arm that was all hope it's understood Thank you.